NVIDIA NEMO microservices. This involves data processing, model customization, model evaluation, guardrails, and information retrieval. This is a common requirement if you plan to run any model. This is a sample tutorial to set up NEMO microservices that simplifies data flywheel setup. So this is the data flywheel. Implementing an efficient data flywheel is complex, but this NEMO microservices simplify the process by having NEMO curator for data processing, NEMO customizer for model customization or fine tuning, NEMO evaluator for model evaluation, NEMO guardrails for guardrails, Nemo Retriever, that's for Rack Pipeline, and Llama Nematron used as Reasoning LLM. In this, mainly we'll be focusing on Nemo Curator and Nemo Customizer. We are going to process the data, and I'll put all the code in the description below. In this, we'll be using Llama 3.2 1 billion instruct model and add function calling or tool calling ability by fine tuning with XLAM Salesforce dataset. I'm going to take you through step by step how you can set this up prepare the data and then fine tune our model customization and the pre-required setup. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Thanks to NVIDIA for sponsoring this video. Here are some stats in regards to Nemo Customizer, 1.8 times faster post-training, the Nemo Evaluator, 3 times reduction in APIs, Nemo Guardrails, 1.4 times higher safety compliance with minimal latency. So in this tutorial, we'll be focusing on fine tuning the model. Step number one, you need to get API key, that is NGC API key using this link. So once after you generate your API key like this, keep that for downloading the model. Here's my configuration, NVIDIA H100, I've got two. Here's the beginner's tutorial, I'll put all the links in the description below. So you can see the required number of GPUs for inference and training and also the disk space and all these required components. To simplify the process, They've already provided a script which you can download and install. That's what I did. I downloaded this script and this will automatically download the Helm chart and install it. And if you prefer installing that manually, you can download Minikube and start following all these requirements. Also note that you might need this NGZ API key and worth exporting in the terminal. Once after you install that script, you can see the list of pods running here. So in my system, I've got Docker, Minikube, everything got installed. And these are all the pods. And if you see the hosts, you can see that these three are added. So this is the IP address for my Minikube. So pre-configuration completed. And first step, data preparation. So I downloaded this Python notebook to my computer and also installed all the requirements.txt. I also upgraded to the latest version pip install hyphen r requirements.txt and the next step you need to update these values nds that is data store nemo url nemo url so this is my config.py file nds url nemo url nemo url so these urls are the urls which we assign that to our mini cube as you can see here these are the urls and in the pods those urls are mapped you can see all the ports by using kubectl get svc and here you can see the ports mapping. These might look complicated as this is one of advanced setup, but this will give you a clear understanding what's happening behind the scenes if you want to deploy an enterprise ready AI application or model. So we completed installing all the requirements, then set up the config file and finally we can start Jupyter Lab notebook by running this command. So once after you run this command, you can see Jupyter open here. Now I can open the downloaded file that is data preparation. And here's the data preparation file. So what we are doing here is download the Salesforce tool calling data set, then prepare the data for customization and prepare data for evaluation. So you can keep on running by clicking this run and having the Hugging Face token and Hugging Face endpoint here. So this token is used to download the function calling dataset. And you need to go to Hugging Face to allow access to this dataset. So once after you allow access, then you can run this and it'll automatically download the dataset. And this is how the dataset looks like. 
it's a conversation user and assistant and it's providing a tools action that is tool calling so we're teaching a large language model how to make tool calls that's all it is so we got the data set we are just converting the data set to open ai spec then processing everything and saving that in training.jsonl and for validation is validation.jsonl similarly some amount of data is prepared for evaluation and it is saved in this file and you can see clearly it's completed running so you can see the data in the data folder for customization that's for fine tuning you got the data here and the fine tuning data looks like this role user content and the content and also finally the tool call information every single row is a json format and similarly we got for evaluation and also for validation now let's start with the next process step number two fine tuning and inference so same like before i've downloaded this notebook and i've opened that in the jupyter notebook this is using nemo customizer and same as before i'm just running each cell and you can clearly see here i'm defining the nds url nemo url nim url same as in the config file next going to upload data to nemo data store so this is the data store this is actually a pod that's where it's running and we are creating a repo as you can see here and this is the endpoint for that and the repo got created then inside the repo we are uploading those files that is training validation and the xlam and you can clearly see it's successfully uploaded so once after it's uploaded we are registering the data set with nemo entity store by calling this and you can see the files url there's the data set so technically we are uploading the data to be ready for fine tuning and here lora customization with the nemo customizer and this is where we are going to create a job for fine tuning so initially we started the nim with llama 3.2 1 billion and this command is used to download the llama 3.2 1 billion instruct model locally inside your own pod that is nemo url here so here we are triggering with that model and the data set name so automatic training will happen with the data set name onto the model and you can see the configuration here sft training type lora fine tuning type number of epochs batch size learning rate and you can modify this based on your requirement so once after you trigger this job you can see the job status first it will say status created then running and finally it's completed so our customizer completed its job and you can see all the log here next you can check if the custom model what we trained is available by running this and you can verify that that is available and the name is this and it is all completed now so now we have a locally running model that is a customized model which we have fine-tuned using xlam function calling data set and gave the ability to function call for the llama 3.2 1 billion parameter model that is brilliant so first time you might feel there are different steps but once after you've run the first time this becomes more easier that even if you want to fine-tune any other data set it's just a matter of changing the data set name here while preparing the data set as simple as that now you are able to fine tune your model and i'm really excited about this do let me know in the comments below what you think about this considering you already like nemo microservices i also created another video how to scan thousands of vulnerability using nemo and i highly recommend for you to watch and i will see you there